What's up guys, I'm Cheyenne, that's Hall Book Girl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my June wrap up for you. June is over, I can't believe it. I say this every month, it's already July and I'm so excited for July. But guys, I read some great books in June and ones that are now new favorites of mine. So I'm really excited for this wrap up. I'm gonna quickly go through all the books that I read. I will share what I rated them and I will give a little bit of detail about what they are about. But other than that, let's get into the wrap up. So the first book I read is Excess by Kate Stewart. I gave this book four stars. This book is a love triangle. It's like a rock star musician and also a CEO like head businessman and she is trying to get the attention of both of them well kind of the mistress of one of them and then she meets the other one in like her off time with the other CEO it's very angsty it has a really wild ending and I definitely loved this book the next book I read is weight of regret by KK Allen I gave this book four and a half stars I loved this second chance romance. Super angsty, lots of forced proximity because she ends up working for this like ad agency and ends up having to come and help him like reboost his camp that he's owned for a while that she used to previously work for and then he turned her down and now she comes back and she's like, hey, I'm gonna make you work for it. Like you're gonna regret it. I also read the entire Off Balance series by Lucia Franco. I ate this series up and I'm telling you like five days. It was so freaking good like addicting good, but you're gonna be in a book hangover afterwards good. If you don't know what the Off Balance series is, it's a gymnast and she falls for her coach and she's training to be in the Olympics. So it's like all that that goes into it. And he's actually with someone else. So it's kind of like a love triangle, so good. I also read Blindside by Candy Steiner. I gave this book four and a half stars. This is Candy Steiner's newest release and it's actually out now. Um, this is a virgin heroine and a football player hero. And she is trying to get the attention of this guy that she sees in a coffee shop all the time and she wants him to notice her. And our hero is trying to win the attention back of his ex-girlfriend who dumped him. So they fake date. It's very much um, lessons in seduction because our heroine is a virgin and she knows nothing about any type of sexual things. So he teaches her lots. And this is definitely Candy Steiner's more steamy book. So definitely check this one out. I also read Give Me More by Sarah Kate. I give this book five freaking stars. This is a MMF romance, and this is the third book in the Salacious Players Club. It was so good. You are caught up in the Salacious Players Club already. We have praise and eyes on me. Then you kind of know what I'm talking about when I mean like the dynamic of it, but this is a husband and a wife, and they let another man come into their marriage because that's their kink, and it was so good. I also read Step Brother Darling by K.A. Knight. I give this book three stars. This is a reverse harem. It was just okay. I think it was just more steam and no plot. And I don't know, there's something about the heroine that I didn't really like. She was very like aggressive and I wanna say dirty, but not like in the good kind of dirty that we like, like a different kind of dirty. I don't know. It just didn't, it just didn't work for me. Like the dynamic was off. It was her stepbrothers. Well, not actually legally her stepbrothers. It was like her mom was planning on marrying their dad, but never actually really did. But I don't know why they call each other stepbrothers. I don't know. There was a lot of issues that I had with it. So I give it three stars. Sorry if you can hear my fan. Per usual, my janky fan. <laughs> it's so loud, but it's hot. So I'm keeping it on. I also read When the Stars Fall by Emery Rose. I gave this book five stars. This is a second chance romance, childhood friends to lovers. They're separated because he joins the military and comes back and he is not in the right headspace, is suffering with severe PTSD and trauma, and this is their relationship and navigating it after that period of point in their life. So loved this book, five stars, one of my favorites by Emery Rose, definitely check it out. I also read Crazy for This Girl by Hazel Grace. I give this book four and a half stars. This is another second chance romance. I was really hooked on second chance this month like really hooked on second chance. But I loved this book. This is a teenage friends to lovers. Um, a lot happens in their life. It's a typical second chance. Lots of bad things happens. It's a big chunky book. So be prepared to have lots of angst and tension and drawn out push and pull and everything that we love in second chance romances. It worked for me. I also read Through His Eyes by Nikki Ash. I give this book four stars. This is a plus size heroine and she is like mistreated by her husband. She ends up getting pregnant, her husband dies, and then she has a second chance with this new guy who worships her. He's a tattoo artist, um, very angsty. He's definitely a worshipful hero. I give this book four stars. Then I also got an arc for Stolen by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. This is the third book in her Sinner series and I give this book five stars. Incredible, incredible. Um, our heroine, she is actually like 
kidnapped by someone who, well, her mom used to work for this guy who's the head of the Polish mafia. And so she is then kidnapped by the head of the Turkish mafia and taken to his house. And he's actually treating her really well. So she is thrown off because she's used to like getting one meal a day, basically being treated like scrap on a floor. And then this new head, he, he treats her well, but like his point in taking her was to prove something to her old boss. So she's held captive in his home and she ends up falling for him, but he is actually a really good guy. And it was just so good. Michelle Hurd writes the best with like torment, but also like love at the same time, if that makes any sense. I don't know. She has a really good dynamic of like sensitivity and like love and angst. And then also like the mafia and you know, the crime part of her books. So she does a really great job of incorporating the two beautifully. I also read Melt For You by JT Geisinger. I gave this book four stars. This is kind of like a fake dating a little bit. Like our heroine, she pretends to be with our hero in order to get her boss's attention, who he's finally showing her attention. So, so cute. Definitely like a really good one by JT Geisinger and different from any of her other books. And also it's a free on KU and read and listen too. I also read Stone Cold by Winter Renshaw. I gave this book three stars. This book started out really strong for me and I was really hoping I was gonna like it. It's like a, so our heroine, she was engaged to our hero's best friend and he left her when they went on this like big trip or something. He met someone else on the trip and came back home and dumped her. Well, this is her relationship with his best friend and it started out strong, but then the hero was just very bland. Like I was wanting some type of redemption for him, for him to like come in and like sweep her off her feet in a way. But it wasn't really like that. Like he just had no emotion and no personality to me. And it was almost like she was the one controlling the relationship. And I just didn't really like that. I wasn't looking for him to be alpha. I just wanted more from him and a little bit of a voice instead of so like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kiss you now. Like it, it just didn't work for me. So then I also read Loving Ben Cooper by Cece Monroe. I gave this book four stars. If you want an alpha hero, this is your book, okay? This is your book. Our heroine, she is like big into the church. She's trying to save herself from marriage. She just like, like she goes to Bible study every week and her boyfriend is in her Bible study and that kind of feel. Ben Cooper is the guy who's a rock star, sleeps with different women every night. He sees our heroine at a concert that her friend drags her to and she is like, for once in her life, she's in something that's not super modest and he is thrown off by her. He jumps down from the stage and like wants her immediately and she turns him down and he's not used to having that happen, but he is so infatuated by her and literally worships the ground she walks on. Like this is one of those ones where he has so many demons and things that he's struggling with, but his girl just makes it better. Like the one where He's like, oh, I gotta call her and just hear her voice. It sounds cheesy, but it was so good. Cece Monroe writes really great alpha and possessive heroes. So I definitely recommend this book. Then I read Haven by Astra Rose. I gave this book five stars. I have referred to this kind of like Credence on steroids a little bit. It's just super spicier than Credence to me. Well, maybe just for a novella. I think that's why. I mean, don't go into it expecting the whole story and plot line to be as thick as Credence because it's definitely not that. I mean, it's like 200 pages but it was enough that so much of it rem reminded me of Credence. Um, so in that case, I give it five stars. I loved it. The spice level was definitely there. And I read Your Mind Tonight by Lucia Franco. I give this book four stars. This is one of Lucia Franco's newer books. I think it is her newest book actually. It's a little under 200 pages. Our heroine is actually a celebrity. She was on this reality TV show and she sees our hero and he is at a concert that she's going to attend and he's backstage and their connection is electric and it's almost instant too. So get ready because maybe 10% in, like they're already like dirty talking to each other. Very good, very spicy, four stars. Then I read Kink Camp Hunted by A. Anders. This was our June pick for Smut Club that I host with my friend McKay from Oh Hey It's McKay. Um, I gave this book three stars and I feel like that's being really generous. This was not my favorite. I feel like I've talked about this book a lot on my channel lately, so I won't get into too many details, but basically they go to a kink camp and her kink is to be chased and hunted down by her other person. So that's what happens. It just was missing a lot for me. It really missed the mark. I felt like there was a lot that didn't need to be in it and a lot that should have been in it instead. A large portion of the book took place in the dark. 
which kind of bothered me and they're talking at the same time and then they would turn around and see each other and like not remember the other person's voice. So it really threw me off a lot and I just didn't like that very much. So I also tried to read Falls Boys by Penelope Douglas and I actually DNF'd it. My friend Tori and Sam, they host their cover to cover book club and this was their pick for June. I was just trying to be a supportive friend and read it for them, but I think you really have to have read the Hellbent series before you read Falls Boys. I was so lost. There was so much happening and I just could not finish it. I felt like I was reading something that I didn't even know anything about and you're reading it too. So you should understand what you're reading and it felt way off for me. I was confused the whole time. So I did DNF it. Then I also read Manic by Alma Jones. Oh, I loved this book. That was very aggressive. So I'm sorry for that. But when I find a Alma Jones book that I like, I love it and I can't shut up about it. I did give this one four and a half stars. Um, Amo Jones, I either really love her books or I don't like them at all. And this worked for me. Um, Manic is a alpha possessive, overprotective, sexy as you know what hero. And our heroine is strong and forceful and she fights for what she wants and she wants Manic and it's so freaking good. Loved this book. Then I also read Between Hello and Goodbye by Emma Scott. I planned on reading this in July and I even put it in my July TBR, but I just couldn't wait. So I read it in June and I gave it five stars. So amazing. This is a second chance romance. Um, our heroine just needs to get away from the city. She's making really poor choices that are affecting her career. She goes to Hawaii to try to like have a reset and that's where she meets Asher and he's the hero. He's a firefighter locally in the town and it's their story together and it's so good and heartbreakingly beautiful and one of Emma Scott's best works yet. I loved it. So then I also read Faking with Benefits by Lily Gold. This is Lily Gold's newest release and it's also my first book by her, which I'm really impressed. I really did enjoy her writing style. Um, this is a rom-com reverse harem, which was a first for me. I have never read a romantic comedy in reverse harem. Our, our heroine has been on like 120 dates in the last year and not one of them has been followed up by a second date or she's like scared men away. Like you see her in the beginning, she's on a date and the guy she's dating ends up climbing out of the bathroom window to get away from her. She's just very pushy and aggressive and like has to have a schedule. She's very OCD and she just is a certain way, very A type personality and a lot of men that she's dating don't happen to like that. So she has roommates across the hall from her and like one of them is a rugby player. One is like, they have this big podcast that they do where it's called like the three single guys or something. And they're in a position where they're getting ready to lose their podcast because they don't have any original content. So they end up pretending to date her and using it on their podcast in order to like teach her how to date and teach her how to flirt and all that. And then it ends up being a reverse harem relationship with all four of them. So it's interesting. I give it four stars. I actually really enjoyed it. It was a good time. Um, there were a couple things that were missing for it for me. It was very insta lust. I think maybe 20% of the way in, she was already sleeping with two of them. And for some reason, I just wanted it to be more like drawn out a little bit. Like don't jump straight to like the sex. Like can we get a little foreplay or something like that? Like I just needed a little bit more in the beginning and maybe a little bit more of them actually teaching her and doing dates that you know built the angst up a little bit before you know it exploded between the four of them so that was the only reason why i gave it four stars instead of five that kind of bothered me a little bit i just wanted a little bit more from that so i also read ruthless stranger by maggie cole i gave this book four stars so many of these books that i'm sharing that i like pre-recorded on my july tbr i ended up reading in june because i just couldn't wait so i'm already ahead of the game for july but this is my first Maggie Cole book and I really, really loved it. Our heroine is trying to escape her ex-husband who she just recently divorced. So she goes to Las Vegas with some friends to get away and try to like have this night where she fulfills this fantasy she's always had of meeting this stranger, being blindfolded, no strings attached and like not knowing his name or anything like that, but just having this wild and freeing type of night. And the stranger who is also our hero, he ends up overhearing her and her friends and he approaches her friends and says, Hey, I'm willing to give her, you know, her fantasy. I'm willing to do this for her. So they had this like explosive night together and then go back home and they end up seeing each other and run into each other at work. And it's not really what they were expecting. Like obviously she didn't see him cause she was blindfolded, but she remembers his voice. And so this is their story together. So kind of like a second chance, but also, 
um, a one night stand gone wrong, but good at the same time. I really enjoyed it and I'm definitely going to pick up more from Maggie Cole. So the last book I read is Flawless by Elsie Silver. And guys, this is my favorite read of the month. I do not read small town romance. Let me just say that I have tried and tried and tried. I've tried Devney Perry. I have tried, actually I read one Elsie Silver book and I actually did like that. I think Brittany Cherry is the only small town romance author I have really liked. And I think hers are very mild in the small town sense, but this book was incredible. Our hero is a bull rider and he had just recently done something to screw up like all of his his sponsors so he ends up losing these huge sponsors and has to try to like make it show that he is wholesome and that he's got his life together so he needs like rebranding on himself essentially and our heroine her dad is his agent so her, her dad is like you're gonna go stay with him you're gonna basically play, ba play babysitter and make sure that he gets his crap together he doesn't do anything stupid like just babysit him a little bit um, so she goes and she has to stay with him and like they end up traveling too because he has different competitions and they come back to the house that he's staying at and so it's forced proximity in a lot of ways shared bed like I just love a good country boy too but this small town did not feel like the drawn out small town it didn't feel like oh we're going to the grocery store and we got miss honey over here with her biscuits and we got this over here and we run into this person it was not like that it was like hey we're in the country like we do this thing like couple things here and there are very southern and feel small town but it's not drawn out because we still travel we still go places we're still doing things and you see more of the couple than you do the town and but still you feel the town like smallness and like the close-knit community as well without it being over dramatic and drawn out so it really worked for me I loved like the angst and tension between them I felt like they really were trying to do what was best for each other and he was very much a worshipful hero like tended to her but was like grumpy and like angry to other people on the outside but I mean would do little things like rub her back for her like he would like draw and write things on her back that was so freaking sweet like bathe her and all the little tentative things that worshipful heroes do but also went crazy alpha if like anybody talked to her or touched her so it was a really good blend and mix for me and favorite book of the month maybe one of my favorite books of all time am I gonna say that I don't know I just loved it five stars I'm probably not gonna shut up about this book so if you like small town romance or even if you don't and you want to give one a try I definitely 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 recommend this book all right guys so that's all I have for my June wrap up I read a total of 26 books and I'm really happy with them I feel like I had a lot of four and five stars some brand new favorites so definitely check out some of these books if they interest you. Let me know in the comments below a book that you read this month that is your favorite so I can check that out for myself. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.